uh, Joshua chapter 1, verse 1. Now, after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, and it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses saying, Moses, Moses saying, Moses, my servant is dead. Now therefore, arise, go over to Jordan, thou and all the people, and unto the land which I do give thee, and, and even to the children of Israel. Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, that I have given unto you, as I have said unto Moses. From the wilderness, the Lebanon, even unto the great river, the river of Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites and under the, the great sea toward the going down of the sun shall be on your court and your coast. There shall not be any man able to stand before thee all the days of thy life as I was with Moses, so will I will be with thee. I will not fail thee nor forsake thee. Now verse 6. It says, Be strong and of good courage, for unto thy people shalt thou divide for inheritance and the land which I swear unto you, you, their fathers, to give them. And only be thou strong and very courageous that thou mayest observe to do any according to all the, the law which Moses my servant commanded him, commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that thou mayest prosper with the servant thou goest. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest obtain, observe to do according to all that is written therein, for then thou shalt Make thy way prosper, said God, said, and then thou shalt have good success. Have I not commanded thee, be strong and of good courage? Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee, whither thou goest. Read the verse 9. Now, God. Give us, give us an opportunity here to rise up the challenge to be strong. And we need to be strong and, and, and encourage each other in the, name, in the way of God. We have a challenge before us to be strong. And I want to encourage you, this is only, this is only a message of encouragement to you all. To be strong in that which God has given us to be. I've got my glasses this morning, so I'm going to have to resort to my phone here more than my glasses. So I uh, usually, re- usually wear my glasses when I'm reading, but I couldn't hardly, s- I didn't write, write all that down. So anyway, yeah, so uh, verse in Chronicles, David. Uh, David said almost the same words to his son Solomon. First, uh, Chronicles 28, verse 20. And David said to Solomon, his son, be strong with good courage. Undo it. Fear not. Be not dismayed, for the Lord thy, thy God, even my Lord, my God, will be with thee. He will not fail thee nor forsake thee until thou hast finished all the work for the service of the Lord and the house of the Lord. See, here we have uh, Solomon who is ready to do a work that is greater than himself. He was ready, he, he was engaging himself in building the house of the Lord. It was a big task. It was a big task. It was a lot of work, a lot of organization going into this thing of building the temple for the Lord, building the house of God. And as we think of how much work it was to be building that, uh, uh, building that size back in those days, 
it, it, was, it was tremendous. It was a tremendous amount of work. A lot of organization went into the place and into something like that back then. But anyway, uh, David was encouraging his son, Solomon, be strong, be of good courage. Don't let things fail you. Don't let the, the devil discourage you. He's saying to them, be strong. <clears throat> it says here, until thou hast finished all the work for the service of the house of the Lord. He said, he will not forsake thee. God will not forsake us. He was encouraging him. God will not forsake us. Okay, now. Second Corinthians 12, verse 10. Second Corinthians 12, verse 10. Therefore, I take pleasure in affirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distresses for Christ's sake, for when I am weak, then am I strong. This is Apostle Paul talking here. He was talking to the church here. He's saying, when I take, take pleasure in these, in these earthly things, uh, these persecutions, these hurts, these uh, infirmities, reproaches and necessities and things like that in, in our flesh, he said, then, then am I strong. You know, if someone has all the riches of this life and and they don't uh, they, they don't rely on Christ as they should, when they have all everything they need physically, it's, it's it's really really difficult for someone like that to be able to rely on Christ for for the strength. And that's what he's saying here. For when I am weak and in these things, then am I strong in Christ? I am strong in Christ whenever I, I uh, am weak in these, in, these, in these things, in these areas of life. Ephesians 6, verse 10, this is right before the, he gave the, uh, the armor, the armor of the Christian soldiers, he says here, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Apostle Paul is encouraging us to be strong too. As David did his son Solomon back then. He is encouraging us to be strong today in whatever situation we find ourselves in. He says, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of might. And then he goes into the, into the, into the armor, the Christian armor. If you read there, he, he goes into the Christian armor then. He tells us to put on these things and the power of his might. Okay. Second Timothy 2, 1. Second Timothy verse 2, chapter 2, verse 1. Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Jesus Christ. There we have how uh, Timothy was a young man. Back then, he was a young man, just newly converted, I understand. He was just newly converted, and he was being used in, in, in God's kingdom. And, uh, and, the Apostle Paul was, was encouraging him to be strong also in all he was facing then. So, my encouragement to you all is to be strong in Christ. To be strong in, in, in the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Be strong and be, be good courage. God bless you all. <clears throat>